Hey guys, in the last video I have shown you how you can host your static website on GitHub. So in the last video I have shown you how you can upload your HTML code on GitHub repository and how you can host it. So we were able to see this website which we have uh, uploaded to GitHub like this and we were able to see our website on this URL which was provided by GitHub for us. So the URL was your username.github.io forward slash your project name and then whatever HTML page you have there. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can add your own custom URL. For example in my case I'm going to use linuxforlife.com instead of uh, this URL which is provided by GitHub for us. So for that you need to buy a domain for you. Uh, from the services like GoDaddy or any other services which is available in your area. So I prefer to use uh, GoDaddy and here you can uh, search your domain and buy your domain uh, for yourself. Now a .com website price on GoDaddy or any other services ranges from 10 to 15 dollar per year. So it's around 1 dollar per month uh, you have to pay for the domain to use. Also there are some free domain providing services for a limited time like freenome.com. Here you can find your domain name for example Linux for life and then press enter. And here you will be able to see uh, the options available for you. So for example Linux for life.tk is available, .ml, .ga, .cf and other uh, extensions are available and here uh, they are shown. So in order to get them you can just uh, press on get it now button and then uh, go to checkout and on the right hand side you will be able to see for how uh, many months you can use this domain for free. So you can use this domain for free for 12 months and after that you need to pay uh, some price for using this domain. Okay, so you can choose any of the services available in your area and once you have uh, bought your domain name what you need to do is you need to go to the DNS management of your uh, domain and you will be able to see these kind of records on GoDaddy at least they look like this and then you need to change the A records in the DNS management of this domain. Now GitHub has some custom domain IPs and you can search them by just searching for GitHub custom domain IPs and the first link which will appear here will be from GitHub and when you scroll down you will be able to see these uh, custom domain IPs, right? So you need to add all these uh, IPs in your A record. So I'm going to just copy this IP and then I'm going to go to the settings of uh, DNS of my uh, domain and then I'm going to uh, just change the A record here. So on GoDaddy I can just click on this edit button here and here where it says point to you need to paste this IP address and then uh, you can change the seconds to 600 seconds and then save it. So this IP address is saved. Once again, I'm going to copy the second IP address from here, go to the settings and from here I can also add uh, these settings. So I'm going to choose the A record from here and in the TTL I'm going to choose custom and I will provide a 600 second here and in the host I can write at the rate and uh, in the point two I will paste the second IP address which I have copied. So I'm going to save it. In the same way I can add uh, two more IP addresses. So A at the rate and then uh, custom 600 and I'm going to copy the third IP address from here and then uh, paste here, save and now the last one. So once again A records at the rate custom 600 and in the point two I'm going to copy the fourth IP address and then paste it here and then I'm going to save it. So once you have added all these IPs from uh, the GitHub you need to go to your GitHub repository and then go to the root directory of your GitHub repository and here you need to create one extra file so you can click on create new file 
and the file name will be c name all in capital so just give this name to your file which is c name all in capital without any space and on the first line of your c name file you need to give the url of your website so for example my website domain name is linuxforlife.com so i'm going to just copy this domain name and paste it on the first line of this c name file and then don't give any space or any line break here you just need to scroll down and then commit this file so i'm going to just click on commit which is going to commit this file and you will be able to see this c name file which we have created and once you click on this you will be able to uh, see your domain name which you have added here and once you have done this thing we are finished so we can uh, just open this url on a web browser so instead of uh, this url which is provided by github for us we are going to use the new url which is linuxforlife.com and then i'm going to press enter and you can see this url is working now so my website is hosted on github.io and now i'm using the custom domain name for this website which is hosted on github now if you are using some other domain services other than uh, godaddy it may take some time for your changes to take effect so you need to wait for some time and just retry after some time and then you will be able to see the result which i am seeing right now so in this way you can add a custom domain name to your github website which you host on github.io i hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now